What is a good tip to differentiate aphasia from confusion? So again, this happens very commonly in our altered uh, delirious patients. You can't tell if they are just unable to speak, which would be concerning for a stroke, or if they're just confused so they're not really responding to you correctly. Um, really, you just gotta be very aggressive be yelling in the room, really just try your hardest to ask them to name common objects and just, you know, really push it as much as possible to try to really figure out if it's aphasia or if they're just a little bit confused. What is the best imaging test for assessing for stroke that occurred over 24 hours ago? So say you suspect a subacute stroke and uh, you know that there's no role for TPA or thrombectomy because it's been uh, a long time since the symptoms came on, what would be the best test? So apparently it's an MRI brain without contrast and an MR angiogram without contrast. MRI with contrast is only needed if looking for tumor and the MRA doesn't use contrast